model sizes. And you can really think of these as a small, medium, large, extra large in terms of how they break down. Now, not every single provider in their commercial product is going to give you all of these options, but we're going to be on this spectrum where the model will either be very small or very large. The trade-off there is a smaller model is much faster, much better at doing very rote tasks, such as putting a template the specific way you want very quickly and cheaply, as opposed to our increasingly larger models, which are going to be a lot slower, but a lot smarter and also more expensive. So especially if you're on like a free plan, you probably want to stick to the small models as much as you can. But if you're doing very thought intensive things where you really need a super specific output that has put a lot of thought into it, is very good at following your nuanced instructions, you're going to want to use a larger model.